Okay, can I start off by thanking everybody for coming out this morning, um, I suppose, to hear firsthand what our vision is for, uh, for the early childhood uh, sector and for family. Um, we have been working on this uh, for the last number of years. We have engaged with the sector extensively. We've engaged with uh, parents. We've held public consultation meetings right throughout the length and breadth of the country. And uh, What we're bringing forward today is, is a global vision uh, for uh, early childhood care and education. Uh, a vision how we can benefit and support families, how we can support children, parents and indeed how we can support uh, the early sector, the workforce itself. Um, over the last number of years we have uh, seen a lack of action in this area on behalf of the government and I suppose the most stark statistic to come out in recent times was that how pos poverty rates have doubled from 6% in 2008 to 12% in 2013. A clear indication uh, that existing supports for the family are not working. We're bringing forward uh, a multi-pronged approach, an approach uh, which has a number of key proposals, as I said, to support the children themselves, uh, parents and indeed the workforce. And I suppose we're starting off when we talk about the whole issue of affordability. Uh, we're producing or proposing a progressive childcare credit and that credit uh, will be on a tiered basis. It will have three bands, uh, band A uh, from 30,000 to 40,000 and that will see uh, parents, the primary, the primary earner, uh, if they're in that band 30 to 40,000, will see a return uh, of 2,000 euro per annum. Uh, the secondary band, band B, is from 40,000 uh, to 50,000 and they will get uh, 1,500 euro back uh, at the end of the year and band C is between 50,000 and 60,000, uh, a return of 1,000 euro uh, at, at the end of the year. Currently, there is uh, support in place for people on low-income families. It's what's known as the Community Childcare Subvention Scheme. Unfortunately, in the last two years, uh, this government decided uh, to close new applications to this scheme, and this scheme is only uh, applicable in the Community Childcare Services. Uh, they, are, they are only a third of the services that are there currently. So what we want to see is we want to expand uh, that scheme to ensure that every geographical area has, a, has uh, access to this scheme and open it up to ensure any parents who can qualify for this uh, will qualify uh, for this. Uh, international research has indicated that the best place for a child in their first year of their life is with their parents and that's why we're proposing to increase uh, maternity benefit uh, by an additional uh, four weeks. Uh, my colleague in the Shannon, Mary White, last year proposed legislation which would see the transfer uh, of entitlements of maternity benefit between uh, both parents. Uh, if elected to office, uh, we would ensure that that legislation uh, would be enacted. Having listened to the sector, uh, we acknowledge that there is issues with quality, uh, we acknowledge that there is issues with capacity. Uh, we are going to invest in improving uh, the quality standards and we're going to invest to ensure that there's an increase in capacity. And that's why we're saying it'll be, we're working toward year three to introduce uh, the second free preschool year. We want to ensure that we have the quality right and we want to ensure uh, that we have the capacity uh, to introduce that. We're also looking at the whole area of special educational needs. Unfortunately, at the moment, how children with special education is, are dealt with uh, in the early childhood sector is very inconsistent. Uh, it depends on the region and it depends on the level of priority or support the HSE is willing to give. We are going to introduce a special fund of 10 million euro which will ensure uh, that there's no discrimination against children uh, with special educational needs. There's no discrimination against children who may have a particular disability and that scheme will be administered through the existing uh, county and city childcare uh, committees. As I said, in relation to the area of uh, quality, uh, we're going to ensure that we increase the direct payments that are currently made uh, to service providers to ensure uh, quality uh, is increased. When we talk about a graduate-led uh, workforce, we have to ensure that we incentivise uh, our workers in this sector uh, to uh, go back and upscale. And how do we do that? We do that by ensuring that they're uh, adequately remunerated. 
and we will increase uh, the capitation pay rates that are paid uh, to the free preschool year presently and we will introduce a, a fund to ensure that anyone who wants to go back and upskill uh, that they will be supported. So I'm quite excited by this. I think uh, it's a very, very progressive proposal. I think it's very innovative and it's a proposal that is, is going to help uh, children, it's going to help uh, parents and it's going to help uh, the people who are working in the sector. We have to remember that there has nothing significantly has happened in this area uh, since our former colleague and previous Minister for Children, uh, Barry Andrews, introduced the free preschool year four years ago. Since that, nothing has happened. We believe this is a crucial area uh, in our society. We b believe it's a crucial area uh, of our economy. And we will be making sure that this is a central compo component uh, of our policy going forward to make sure that this is a better place uh, to live in and to make sure that this is a better society uh, to rear a family in. Thank you.